Finding the way. Finding the way every week. Have a good Buffalo Bills. Yeah. No overthinking, right? Go play some ball. Go play some football. It's an exciting time to be a Buffalo Bill and a fan of the Buffalo Bills. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to a brand new season of the Sean McDermott Show presented by Kaleida Health. Coach, thanks for being here, Ray, for a brand new season. It's got to feel good to be back in the saddle. It does. It's it's good to get back in it and uh, ready for the season here. All right, so you had great season last year, 13-3, and three, three losses by a total of eight points. You overcame, really, adversity that no other team in the NFL has ever faced. you, you got to take something away from a season like that. What was the most important thing you learned from last season and all the things you had to go through. Well, I think the human spirit is amazing and what it can do when everyone comes together on something and the willpower that our players and team and organization showed, I think was outstanding. So you, you're you coming into now, you've been here for a few years, you've got a core group of guys you kind of depend on, but you've also got some new additions. Dalton Kincaid, first round draft pick, looks great. New wide receivers, only three holdovers from the wide receiver room from a year ago. Leonard Floyd is a huge signing. You had the competition at middle linebacker that you sorted out. Now you're you're calling the defense. Of all of those things, and maybe something I didn't even mention, what do you think is going to make the biggest difference for this team? Boy, we've had a lot of challenges, as you mentioned. Added a lot of new players, some younger, some older. I think just how well we come together as a team early on. And then our fundamentals, believe it or not. That's usually what wins or loses games. More games are lost in the first four weeks of the season than probably that are won, just from a fundamental standpoint. So we've got to be on point with that. Yeah, different change from last year also is the fact that last year, you guys were the hype train. Everybody thought you guys were, were sailing into the Super Bowl, going to be an easy season, of course. Then you hit a bunch of adversity. This year, it's the Jets who have the hype train rolling. You feel like you're more under the radar, of course, last year. And since the expectations around the country outside the building are very different, how does that change your message to your guys? Well, we've always tried to make it about us, right? Stay internally focused and driven inside of our walls. And uh, I think that's the same this year with probably a little bit less outside noise about our team than, than was, what was around last year. Yeah, so over the last couple of years, Josh has, has risen to the elite level of NFL quarterbacks. He's the only player in history with 35 plus TDs and five rushing touchdowns in three seasons in a row. All of that stuff going, he's on the cover of man, all that stuff. You know, what do you think is next for him as far as inside this building? What, where does Josh Allen evolve to now? Well, I think it's taken another step, you know, for him and then collectively for us as a team and an organization. Uh, we've done a lot of good things over the last X amount of years. Now it's taking it one game at a time and getting ourselves in position to strike come the end of the season. All right, so I mentioned all those changes, some new things offensively, you know, Kincaid, a, a new couple of wide receivers to pair with Diggs. Uh, you know, James Cook's going to be the lead back now, or at least maybe the top back. Um, and now Ken Dorsey is in year two as offensive coordinator. How do you expect you to see your offense evolve uh, as him being a play caller, him game planning on a week-to-week -week basis, have his, you know, have his kind of routine better established? I think – him being synchronized with Josh is huge. Um, first year was first year. They've had a chance now to sit down and say, hey, I like this, I didn't like that, I like it when you called the game this way, not like, you know, so you get a better feel for each other through experience, and, and I'm looking forward to watching them this year. Cool. All right, Coach, we're going to take a break, catch up with you later in the show to get your final thoughts on finally getting into this opening game on Monday Night Football against the Jets, and we'll be back with you right after this. The Game Plan is presented by Energy Mark. Trust Energy Mark for renewable energy supply. When we come back, Eric Wood and I break down the tape of the best of Josh Allen from last season on Chopping Wood. Then we look at the best clips of Miked Up from the preseason and training camp. Chopping Wood is presented by St. Bonaventure University, an official education partner of the Buffalo Bills. Welcome back to the Sean McDermott Show, and it's time now to take a look back at the tape with our good friend, Eric Wood. E, Josh had a pretty incredible season last year. Ken Dorsey in his first year as offensive coordinator. What are you looking forward to seeing from those two in 2023? 
Yeah, we were unsure of what this offense would look like under Ken Dorsey in his first year as offensive coordinator, but really they didn't miss a beat. Again, number two in the NFL in scoring offense. We saw some new wrinkles with designed runs by Josh Allen, and we'll take a look at some of those. I was also impressed with the way they scripted some deep shots down the field, especially to Diggs and Davis, and hopefully we see a bunch more of those in 2023. Well, let's take a look at some of Josh's runs, the most famous one from last year the hurdle in Kansas City. Take me through what they were designing here. Here the Bills start in an empty formation and they put Devin Singletary going across the formation in motion just to draw eyes to the defenders. You get a good block down block by Dawson Knox and then here comes the offensive lineman leading the way out front. Josh Allen finishes it off with a hurdle over Reed and he keeps rolling down the field and another one of his patented hurdle moves on the outside. In the week nine meeting against the Jets, Josh ripped off a 36 yard touchdown on a similar play. What did you see on this one? This time it's not an empty formation, but again, they use Devin Singletary in motion away from where the play is going. And here you get the big boys out front. This offensive line still this year will have incredible mobility up front. And so on the outside, on the left-hand side, you're going to get a great down block by Knox again. And there you get Saffold leading the way out front. Mitch Morse is trying to catch up to this one, but Josh is a little too fast, outruns him, gets all the way down there for the score. All right, let's fast forward to week 16 with Miami in town. And in the fourth quarter, Josh broke a huge run to set up the game-tying touchdown. What happened on this play? Miami runs a ton of man-to-man -man defense and Josh generally recognizes it and takes advantage of it. Here, this isn't a design drop back. This is a QB draw. Greg Van Roden gets up to the second level, delivers a nice block, and you see the speed of Josh Allen. He's pulling away from safeties in this league, and he just shows off some incredible athleticism here to set up the game tying touchdown. Okay, let's flip it over to the passing game. What better place to start than the 98 yarder to Gabe Davis versus Pittsburgh? Break this one down. This is third and long backed up in your own end zone. This is generally a time when offensive coordinators will be very conservative, try and just get a few yards, make it easier on the punter. But instead here, they put the tight end and the running back both in the backfield. They're anticipating blitz, and that's going to give them a little extra time. And Gabe Davis beats his former teammate, Levi Wallace, down the field on a great route. Josh stands in the pocket till the very last second, taking a shot and delivers a great ball for the 98 yard score. And then in week eight with Green Bay in town, Josh connected with Diggs for 53 yards. What did you see on this play? This was a huge play in the game to make it a three possession game going into the half. The route combination is great here. Both Gabe Davis and Diggs are in minus splits. Gabe will run a vertical route to draw the safety over, and then Diggs, he runs a corner post to get wide open. Great route and a great throw by Josh, hanging in the pocket again to the last second. Okay, now let's fast forward to the game against New England, and Josh connected with Diggs again. This one for 49 yards and a touchdown. Take me through this play. This is third and 10, and to buy some extra time for Josh, they're going to put a chip on both sides, line the tight up in the running back on both sides of the line of scrimmage to provide those tackles just a little bit of extra help out there. And Josh, with a defender barreling down on him in the pocket, hits Diggs for the touchdown. He runs a great out and up on the outside. He sells the out just enough to get the corner to stop his feet. And once you do, you're not catching up with Diggs. And this was a perfectly thrown pass by Josh. That's great stuff as always. It's fun to go back and watch those plays from last year. We'll catch up with you next week to look forward to what's in store for us this year. Looking forward to it, Steve. When we return, Josh Allen and more are mic'd up from the preseason and training camp. Then Sportsology gives us a breakdown of next gen stats. Mic'd up is presented by Geico. Yeah, I got that mic on me today. Yeah, but mic'd up. I'm mic'd up today. Oh. Woo! Man, got to go crazy today if I'm mic'd up. I mean, yeah. it's just, it wouldn't make sense not to, you know? Yeah. You feel me? <sighs> morning, 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 morning. Don't, don't leave. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You seen that? <laughs> they tried to leave me hanging, man. What's wrong with him? What's up, buddy? I got, I'm getting zits for my helmet. I feel like I'm in high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going like right here on like the ear pad. Yeah. It hurts. What? 
Hey, by the way, Jay, I'm mic'd up today, so don't say nothing crazy. Wait, what? So I'm mic'd up today, don't say nothing crazy. Watch yourself. Yeah. Wow. Watch yourself, bro. Wow. Watch yourself, bro. Uh, I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. I forgot. I'm mic'd up. I'm mic'd up. Hello, hello, hello. hello. We going? Smiley, we good? Smiley, we good or no? What the hell, Smiley? TV. Uh, the head coach. Hey, what time is that uh, 5.30? Guys, practice guys. start. If I could have your attention. What time does that 5.30 uh, practice start? Uh, when the head coach gets here. Yeah, uh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Here it goes, here it goes. Ready to get some food. No, oh, jeez. No. Good job, coach. Good job. <laughs> I'm the ace. Everybody knows I'm the fest today. I'm the fest today. Got you. Just hey, just pinch it a little bit. I'll show you. This side, just like that. Just pinch it. Pinch it. Perfect. Do not move at all. I'm not gonna hit you at all. We're good. Alright, you ready to go? You yeah, ready? we're ready to go. Do not even think about it, Dean. You're good. You won't even feel it. Beautiful form. <laughs> I hit his hand. I told you. I got caught, dude. That's bad. That's, I, yeah. I hit his hand. I felt it. I was yelling at you, wrong hand. Dude, I get here. I know. How do you not know that? It hit his hand, dude. That's why you don't hold it with your right. Yeah, I could, right when I hit it, it felt good, and I looked up. I said, "Oh, it definitely hit something." Yelling, wrong hand. We told you that a million so times. So it's his right, left. Huh? I like this. I love the reds, boy. I love red. Yo, so like, do you know that you're a superstar, or do you just imagine that you're just a regular guy, but you're really a superstar? I'm a, I'm a regular guy. You're what? I'm a real, a Josh, real fun guy. Are screaming at the top of their lungs. I mic'd up. There's guys screaming. There's females screaming. They want to hug me? They want to hug you. Like, they just want to walk up and just go like this. <laughs> what year? How old are you? How old are you? 33. Damn. Hey, that's where the camera need to go right here. That's where the camera need to go right there. Yeah. I told you I was gonna get a show. Hey, how's the content been? Uh, someone's up there. So he's, he's here. Off dogs, maybe? I assume it's electric. We can only hope. Yeah, hey, I heard you used to kick, kick though. Your father's field goal. Huh? High school? Yeah, you got any huddle? Huddle tape? I was gonna look it up when I got home. Yeah, if you got videos, send them to me. We're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have tryouts. It's gonna be you, it's gonna be Barkley and Dawson all trying out. Here we go. There we go. Love y'all boys. Win on three, one, two, three. Win. I'll see you guys tomorrow. What time? What time? Uh, study, 8 a.m. <laughs> I'll see you guys. <laughs> That's two. See you guys Still to come on the Sean McDermott Show, we break down the next-gen stats in Sportsology. And later on, Coach previews the Monday night opener with the Jets. Sportsology is presented by ECMC. ECMC, bringing hope and healing to Western New York. There's been a lot of talk about tight ends Dawson Knox and Dalton Kincaid's usage this season and why it could be huge for Buffalo's offense. You also hear the term 12 personnel thrown out a lot when talking about the two. And if you don't know what 12 personnel is or you need a quick refresh, I got you. When there is one running back on the field and two tight ends, the team is in 12 personnel. The number one represents the number of running backs and the number two represents the number of tight ends. 
The Bills ran a lot of 11 personnel last season, which means one running back and one tight end were on the field. With the addition of Dalton Kincaid, we should see an uptick in their usage of 12 personnel because of Kincaid's elite ball skills. He catches everything. We actually saw this increase in preseason games already because the Bills ran 12 personnel at a 21.8% rate, which was up from 3.7% last season, the lowest percentage in the NFL. Look out for when the Bills line up in 12 this season because when it happens, I think we will see points on the scoreboard since opposing defenses will have a hard time handling the duo. When we come back, Chris Brown and Matty Glab break down Monday night at MetLife Stadium against the Jets. Plus, Coach shares what it'll take to start off the season with a win. Game Preview is presented by Independent Health. You deserve the red shirt treatment. Welcome into this week's Game Preview. Matty Glab alongside Bills insider Chris Brown. Week one, here we are. Bills against the Jets, a Monday night matchup. Star-studded lineup, so there's going to be plenty of matchups within the game to watch. We want to talk about the trenches. Offensive line against the defensive line. Chris, kick us off. Where are you going to be watching? Yeah, for me, it's the edges of that Jets offensive line. That's where the question marks are. You've got a 38-year-old left tackle in Dwayne Brown who missed most of the preseason on PUP. He's ready to roll, but he's not not the same guy he used to be. That's the best player they can put on Aaron Rodgers' blind side. That's an issue. They may have to put extra protection out there in the form of a tight end or a back chipping out of the backfield. And then Makai Becton, while he's a great story, is a reclamation project and has kind of reclaimed his status as a first-round pick and starting at right tackle. Guy hasn't played regular season football in over two years. That's going to be an adjustment in an atmosphere like Monday Night Football at MetLife Stadium. Greg Rousseau could have his way with him. That's what I'm watching on so that side of the So the Bills' defensive line could be licking their chops a little bit going little up bit. against this, this offensive line in the Jets. Well, the Jets' defensive line, they are a powerful group. They led the NFL with 121 quarterback hits last season. 45 sacks, which was good for seventh best in the NFL. The Bills offensive line, they're going to have their hands full. They're going to have to kick it up a notch to be able to give Josh Allen the protection that he needs in that pocket when they're going up against guys like Quinn and Williams, Carl Lawson, some first round picks from the NFL draft. There's some new faces in this offensive line group, but some guys who returned from last season as well. We all know Josh Allen does a good job getting outside of the pocket when he faces pressure, but when you're facing pressure all game, no quarterback wants to have that. He had six touchdowns against pressure last year. We know he can find wins against pressure, but it's going to be up to the offensive line to give Josh Allen the time he needs to operate within the pocket. Yep, easy answer. Receiving targets quick, get the ball out. Yeah, we'll see how it goes for both sides of the ball. Who wins in the trenches on Monday Night Football? Coach, opening season, Monday Night Football, it's 9-11 in New York, you know it's gonna be one of those games. Aaron Rodgers' first game as a Jets, big atmosphere. How are you preparing your team for that atmosphere and for all the things that surround opening day as well as 9-11 in New York? Well, I think it's great to be a part of a game like this, right? Opening, the, helping open the season on Monday night and remembering uh, all of what happened on that day in, in, in U.S. history. And yet we have to focus on the task at hand. We have to take it not only one game at a time, but one play at a time. It's gonna be a tough environment. Our backs will be against the wall, but we've got to focus on what we can control, and that's our level of play. Yeah, well, they're a good team. You split with them last year. They held you to your two offensive lowest totals of the season in yards. But from your perspective, now as you come into a new season, you know they're gonna be a formidable opponent. What do you see that they do well that makes it particularly diff difficult, not only for the Bills' offense, but for everybody's offense? Well, they're <laughs> they put together a roster now yeah. that would challenge anyone out right. there, right? With speed, size, uh, a number of high picks uh, over the years, you know, consecutive years here now. So their roster is outstanding. We're going to have to play a very, very fundamentally sound, complementary game where our offense, defense, and special teams all work together. Yeah, no question. The, the Jets really have done it, done well. Last year, they have Garrett Wilson, Offensive Rookie of the Year. He's got 1,100 yards and four touchdowns. And then Sauce Gardner, who's the Defensive Rookie of the Year. I mean, that's quite a feather in the cap for the Jets organization. Which of those guys is a more difficult matchup to prepare for? Is it like Sauce or is it Garrett Wilson? <laughs> that's like, a great right? question. Yeah, sometimes you just throw your hands up and say, well, you know, what yeah. are we going to do here, right? So they've got it on offense, they've got it on defense, they've added the quarterback and Aaron Rodgers, as everyone 
knows and and um, and so they're they're a very talented team and, and we're gonna have to play really good team oriented football uh, to come out on top coach it's great to see you again this year good luck monday night against the new york jets and to everybody at home thanks again for watching the sean mcdermott show we're going to be here all season we'll see you thank you we're presented by collida health and as always go bills final thoughts is presented by toyota Toyota is the exclusive and official vehicle of the Buffalo Bills. Toyota, let's go places. The Sean McDermott Show is presented by Kaleida Health, the official health care provider of the Buffalo Bills. By Connors and Ferris, your workers' comp attorneys. Call 716-684-COMP today. By Toyota. Toyota is the exclusive and official vehicle of the Buffalo Bills. Toyota, let's go places. And by Independent Health, you deserve the red shirt treatment.